Hi and welcome to Gadget TV. My name is Nick and I'm here today with Raj and we're going to talk about a solution for light commercial use for coffee machines. Yep. At Gadget here we get a lot of inquiries from SMEs that are wanting to make between 20 and 60 cups of coffee a day and really at that level a fully fledged commercial plumbed in machine is a hefty investment really. Yes and I think you, you're not quite sure when you're starting up a business sure. whether you need so many coffees. Some people would say I want to start a cafe, uh, sort of a cafe shop yeah. or you know coffee shop, yeah. uh, a coffee bar where you are thinking of actually uh, doing hundreds of coffees. It's your main, main then, then product. Then you here. really have to uh, go for a big machine. You do, yeah. But if you are just starting off something and you're not quite sure but you want to offer really good coffee yeah then you may want to think of something smaller yeah. but uh, you know don't want to spend too much money on it sure I mean a sandwich shop or a pub or a restaurant yeah. or a club where you and your main some... business is something else yeah so you're going to serve uh, sandwiches yeah. or you might be serving uh, uh, you know any kind of Italian Italian food maybe yeah. food is your important thing but not too many coffees I mean we've got a couple of customers that are already using this solution I mean we so we're looking at here sort of mid to high end domestic coffee machines basically yeah. and one machine on its own will will make 20 30 cups a day no problem if that's spread out what we're looking at is if you've got a little peak a lunch rush or yeah. after dinner where you suddenly want to create six or ten coffees you're pushing it with one machine, I mean, they will do it, but I think there's the a problem, time involved. The problem with one machine is really that because it's a single boiler system, yeah. to go from coffee to steam, yeah. uh, it's going to take a bit of time. So you're really going to waste a bit of time while the, while the customer yeah, is waiting. Just waiting. So on, on a two machine here, we can be doing one item on, on one machine, i.e. the milk, and, an, and the coffee on another machine, and, and alternate that between. And so it's a very cost-effective solution. Oh, very much so, yeah. Two machines will cost you probably between you know uh, sort of a thousand to to fifteen hundred pounds yeah uh, whereas if you are going for a, a commercial a proper commercial machine you could spend between three and five thousand pounds yeah I mean it's three five, and not only that with a commercial machine you've got to have somebody in charge of that machine who knows what they're doing and yep. sometimes that's not always possible in, an, uh, in a small business where you know you might have different stuff coming that's in on right. weekend stuff I mean you may You've be serving try. somebody say if you are making sandwiches you can't be making coffee exactly no. uh, here you can just press the button yeah. can carry on with your preparation and the coffee is made My well, what and the other, other thing, yeah. good thing is you don't have to plumb in these machines, so it's water straight in sure. into the tank, and you you just have to put. I mean, the, the tanks on. We've got a, a link below about Animus because we've got more details on these specific machines. And yeah. um, this is one of our uh, options. We've got other options. We would normally say to people have maybe two the same machine because it's more familiarity with that. My personal choice would be to go for the cappuccinatory. I love the cappuccinatory. Yeah. It's a very simple machine to use. So you, uh, you have explained the cappuccinatory in other videos, we but have, yeah. you might you might want to actually give it a go and show how uh, how effective that. Yeah, can I mean it's be. very simple. Yeah, you literally push the button and you've got free free flow milk there. So we push the milk frother here. Now the machine we've got alongside it is the Anima Prestige, and on this particular one you've got have you got a cup underneath there? I don't want to push it into the. Uh, I can do. And must make a cappuccino. Okay. So we just press that. So here's an here's an option. Now we're making hot milk in here, which we can then put a coffee on, obviously, and this is ideal also for. Uh, hot chocolates or for baby yep. chinos you can just make it run and you can run just milk on this machine as well obviously but as you can see there we've, we've now got two operations going on so i let this free flow as much as i like so this is going to make milk as well yeah and it's going to add the coffee to it because i'm i put the cappuccino button you have got two options here as well yep. uh, for cappuccino and uh, another milk option yep. You can do milk on its own as well on this one. Yep. So it, there's your there's your cappuccino bubbling away there. We've already got some hot milk, so we've served maybe a hot chocolate with this and one. And if you run out of milk, yeah, you can always pour milk in straight in there. Yeah. So you don't have a problem of you know stopping the whole system. And if you run out of water, you can just pour water in straight as well. Yeah, the, the water tank's about 1.9 litres. The bean hopper on this particular model is 250 grams, yeah. which uh, uh, one bean, seven grams, is, is 30 odd coffees. So you can see you can get a good sort of a coffee making session out of this. So you can actually have more than one bean. 
So yeah, you can yeah, have yeah. a strong coffee there, you can have a different coffee here, exactly. but you can also override the grind by actually having pre-ground, yeah. say, decaffeinated or something you could have as well. And then that's the joy of having two machines. You're going to have, um, you know, say, up, up to maybe three different options, or even four, really, with the, with the two there, of uh, flavours of coffee. Yep. You, know, you don't want to overcomplicate things, but you could have a strong and a medium, and as you say, a decaf it's operation. It's quite as well. uh, flexible and versatile. Yeah, is, and yeah. the thing is, you can try out the coffee first. Yeah. Say, for instance, if you like the coffee that you're making, yeah. uh, then you can reproduce that on a commercial machine. It, it does exactly the same thing sure. in terms of making coffee. I mean, so we've got details on Anima in a separate video, but uh, uh, just touching on the cappuccino tour, you can take this off yeah. if you wanted to. So do you want to actually give it a go with the cappuccino tour, or do you want to do it as a separate uh, well, yeah, yeah. we'll show that as a, yeah. separate, se okay. show that as a separate video. But as I say, that's, so, so it's hot milk and your coffee, you can obviously put those together, you can make that into a chocolate. You've got the uh, cappuccino that we've made there. So massive flexibility, and, and as Raj has said, you know, I mean, even I'll just go below a thousand pounds with a certain machines. You've got a Navilio, which was retail, and that so you between yeah. eight hundred and and twelve thousand right. pounds. I mean, that, that includes VAT and exactly, stuff as yeah. well. So they're yeah. really good, uh, I think, value for money yeah. and machines. very very easy to use. I think yeah. that's the stress as well. You know, that, to stress that that it really is, uh, you know, a simple operation. Push a button, you get a very very consistent. You can see there the quality of the espresso, a very consistent coffee, uh, and you know, it's a great add-on. And it's not for coffee shops, it's for restaurants and bars and clubs. Yeah, We've said I think that I'm going to have this coffee. Get and have that. <laughs> so if you want any more details below, you can obviously give us a call. There's an online form you can fill in if you've got an inquiry. That's right. We can get back to you on that. The link down below there and our website is? Yeah. Gadgetdirect.com. I'd be glad he said that just in case <laughs> I got it wrong. No, Gadgetdirect.com. So if there's any, or you can give us a call at the office uh, to discuss anything that you might need to know. Thanks. For